Okay, I'm here with David Rivman, the guy behind Compass, and now the uh, Moonlight Hardware Acceleration. So, what are we looking at here, David? This is a simple Silverlight 3 application <coughs> uh, using some transformations, and it's making use of the bitmap caching API that's available in Silverlight 3. And okay. This is actually this is running Moonlight here. So this is uh, this is Moonlight running on Linux and. Um, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but this is uh, the frames per second are anywhere between two and nine frames per second, depending on the size of the animal being shown, right? Yes. And then, uh, so can you show us, can you enable the hardware acceleration? Okay. So, you... so let's just get closer to this so people can see it. If I click this thing okay, here. Okay, so that's the frames per second. And now when we go to hardware acceleration, we get 34 or so, 35 frames per second. Very nice. And you were telling me something about the bitmap. So basically what it's doing is it's caching the 2D drawing in a bitmap mm -hmm. and then using OpenGL to blend it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get the performance. Uh, so you can see that um, when the animal gets bigger... <coughs> yeah, we can see that. You can see the... the uh, you can sort of see the pixels. Mm -hmm. But the API allows you to... Uh, increase the resolution mm -hmm. of the cached bitmap. Oh, and now we get a high resolution can, can, bitmap. Yeah, you can avoid so you can avoid that, and you're still getting good performance. Yeah, we're still getting 35 frames per second, 34, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, still really good. And now let's compare that to the Windows machine, right? Yeah, we can do another thing. I can show you. Oh yeah, yeah right sure. now Is that the, another thing that we can we accelerate is uh, effects like blur, for example. So if oh, I check, okay. you click this box So that's box a pixel here. shader stuff that you yeah. did. If I click that, it's blurring the whole animal. Oh, let me let me just adjust this. Okay. So now you can see that the animal is being blurred and we're still getting in real time by the hardware uh, card, right? Yeah. That was uh, David implemented a pixel shader uh, for Moonlight, so we can consume Silverlight pixel shaders too, and they run on Linux out of the box. This is very impressive. And let's look at the Windows machine. And it's, I guess, it's a similar demo, but they have a different uh, frame per second counter, I guess. So it's not as pretty as ours, but you can see that they do about 11, you know, yeah. 8 to 11 when, uh, That's the frame with the software, time. yeah. They do 8 to 11 with the software, with the software renderer. Oh, and 6 I... to 11. And then activating GPU. The same blocky factor, but we're up to 28 frames per second, 33. And I guess you can do the high res bitmap too. It's dropping a little bit there. No, it does drop a little bit more than Moonlight does. Ah, oh, Moonlight's so much better. Okay. Uh, and can you do the blurring too? Sure. Oh, and there we have the blurred accelerated version on Windows. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure they're actually accelerating that though. And uh, and this. Oh, you don't think they accelerate blur? Oh, so we're already better again. And that is very nice. Well, thank you very much, David. Welcome. Congratulations. So, uh, does the three pipeline do something else in addition to this? Uh, well, it does the blur. It does uh, accelerates drop shadows, and mm -hmm. it also accelerates all your custom pixel shaders. Okay. So okay. You can create custom pixel shaders doing pretty much anything, and it will accelerate accelerate those using uh, OpenGL as well. All right. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, David.